Hey everybody and welcome back. So if you've been following me for a long time, you understand my channel. It's model aviation and a ultralight I'm building right now. So I'm going back and forth between those. Um, sometimes I get requests on the type of video series I should do. So if you've been watching me, you know I'm doing one of my B36 right now that I'm two or three videos into. My MSL-1, which I'm one video into. Uh, which is my vintage 197 inch wingspan electric plane. But I also had a B, uh, I'm sorry, a C130 project. And I've gotten quite a few private messages. And just so you know where I post all my stuff, I use my LinkedIn sometimes. I use my Facebook. Sometimes I'm on RC groups. Uh, sometimes I'm, well, most of the times I'm here on YouTube. So between all those different places, I get sometimes between 25 and 50. Uh, contacts a week from people okay so but I've really had I don't know a dozen say could you do a really in-depth video on the C-130 project you did and I decided okay I'm gonna do it but here's one of the reasons I'm reluctant to do these is most of my builds I have over 4,000 photos of by the time I'm done and to break those into categories and try to figure out how to do the video right and give it justice is, is problematic. So I'm gonna jump into this and quit just babbling here. But on the B30, I'm sorry, I keep getting B36 on my mind. On the C130, this is the overview video. There's gonna be an airframe design video, the fuse, the wing, the tail, the nacelle, the gear, the ramp, the radio, the props, which was the, what the H model, which is four bladed. And then I designed my own six bladed, which made it a J model. And then miscellaneous, like the wing fuel tanks and stuff like that. Um, but before we get too far into this, I want to talk about my sponsor real quick, RTL Fasteners. Absolute the best company to go to for bolts, nuts, uh, blind nuts, lock nuts, uh, lock washers, metric standard, servo screws, you name it, they've got it. If you go there and you use the top secret code DA30, you will get 30% off your orders if you spend more than $50, okay? So this is the overview video that we're going to do right now and talk about the C-130. So, um, and I'm going to dive into it under the design on why I picked this size and why I did some of the things I did, but I had always wanted to build a C-130 and um, I was just chatting with a couple of friends and one day I said, you know, I've gotten good enough at CAD, I've gotten good enough understanding electrics, I'm going to do this. And that's where the spark took off. So what we're going to talk about is, um, you know, we look at the airframe. Uh, we're going to break that down. We're going to break down how I designed the fuselage. And it was actually a, a, what I call a reverse mold, which means basically I took the styrofoam and covered it with fiberglass, painted it, and made it as smooth as glass. Then I put fiberglass on the outside of it and finish the outside of that and then popped it off. And I call that a reverse mold. And I'm gonna go all the way through that. We're gonna go through my entire wing design including my Fowler flap design. We're gonna go through the tail, how I did that. The landing gear, both as a kind of electromechanical operated, which a servo was pressing some limit switches, all the way to the digital version that we designed. Uh, a friend of mine named Berger helped me design a microcontroller, which absolutely works spot on. We're gonna talk about the nose gear design. And that was really, that was quite the feat. Getting the nose gear and the, the, the landing gear doors on the nose gear and all of that to work right was really uh, a challenge. Uh, I'm gonna talk about how I did the nacelles and the molds for the nacelles. Four bladed props which turned out absolutely gorgeous and worked perfect. Uh, six bladed props, which absolutely turned out great and had a lot of know-it-alls telling me it would never work because you can't make your own carbon fiber props. I'm gonna go all the way through that and show you how it worked. We're gonna talk about the ramp uh, design and the design for me dropping cargo and stuff like that. And all of that's gonna be in the video. And then at the end, I'm gonna talk about why it got sold. So this is one of the last pictures taken of the C-130 before I taxi tested it. Well, actually, I don't want to say it really taxi tested. I put the whole plane together in my garage, plugged in all the batteries, all the radios, ran up the motors, kind of ran it forward, turned it around. I didn't really, I, actually, if I remember, I did go out on my driveway and bring it back in 
And one of my buddies was watching me do this, and he's a turbine guy, and fell in love with the airplane and said, I have to have this airplane. I said, it's not for sale. He threw money at me. We all have a price. So that's what this video is going to be, be about, everybody, okay? So the this is the first of the series for the C-130. And um, I'm battling with how long these videos should be because some people say, oh, this could have been a five-minute video. Other people are like, why didn't you make this a 30-minute video and really get into the little detail? So I can't make everybody happy. I understand that, okay? Um, but I'm going to do my best to represent... Uh, these builds so that you all can kind of go along for the ride. Okay, so have a fantastic day everybody I'll see you next time rock on make sure you take a kid flying Kids do a lot better with RC airplanes than playing some shoot 'em game where they chase a car Take a car and drive over people's bodies and stuff. It's not a good way to understand the angle of attack So have a great day. Be safe. See you next time. Bye